Hi, it's Barry. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about disc bound planners, all the different sizes that are available, and there are lots, and what some possible uses are for those sizes. Make sure you stay tuned for the end of the video where I explain the March giveaway. So there's lots of sizes of the disc planners. And I think what I'll do is start from the largest down to the smallest. So this is a letter size planner and it's a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and it uses 11 discs. When the disc planners first really got started out of Levenger, all of their disc packages were sold with 11 discs in them and it still continues to this day. That works out okay because you can save the extra discs if you're doing a smaller size and sometimes two packages will make three notebooks, for example. And this is a size that cloth and paper had at one point and then they stopped this size. So one thing is you can still set this up if you want to store some things, which is what I use it for. I was lucky enough to grab the Anthony Bourdain dashboard when it was on last call in this size. And then I have a few different sections and basically what I use is to store some travel things. So if I printed some things out like some maps or travel information that I had used in the past and I know I'm going to be going back to that place in the future, I want to save it because it may be helpful to me in my next trip, such as timeshare maps, things like that. So really what I have in here is just that type of information and some booklets. Essentially, I'm not really using this size very much. It's still very useful to me. And if you have a lot of things that are in the eight and a half by 11 size that you need to refer to, you can just make up your own letter size. Back in the day when Happy Planner started with the classic size, I did use those planners for a while. It was a number of years ago. And the only one which I have retained was this one that I had gotten, which is a place to store recipes. Classic size uses nine discs. I thought this would be a great idea to store recipes. So I did clip some things and then I did print some recipes on this size, which is the seven by 9.25, but I didn't really use it very much and it's been years. I decided to hold on to it, but if I ever did decide to go back and use it, I would definitely replace these discs because they don't turn as well as the others. So the size that I use the most is half letter and that half of an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper or 5.5 by 8.5 inches. I have to admit, I love my Louis Vuitton planners. This planner is my marketing planner and I have recently changed around the inside pockets on a lot of my planners. If you have seen my recent videos, you know I'm really enamored with these enamel magnetic pins and they do serve a function and my most recent video if you want to take a look at that I talk a lot about that and there's a good hack in there also and I'll link that up here. This one is my work planner also a Louis Vuitton desk agenda. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this one and out of the three I think it is really become my most favorite and this one is my work planner and this one has been my finance planner, third year with that now, and it works absolutely perfectly for me. I also have a couple of the heirloom covers from Cloth and Paper. This one is in Valletta, and this one is my home and dream planner. So I have home plans that I'm enamored with and some other inspiration, information on furniture, either that I've purchased or I'm looking to purchase, renovation ideas, uh, work that I have had done around the house so that I keep track of those kinds of things. This is also an heirloom 
by a cloth and paper. And this is my travel planner, the actual planner. In the letter size, I showed you where I'm saving some information in there for future trips. So I keep track of status on airlines and hotels, my timeshare, trips I have coming up, some reference material that I'm collecting for keeping track of things and also upcoming trips, red week goals. The half letter uses eight discs. The next size down is mini HP and I was using mini HP quite a bit but I've just taken a break from that because with the CP Petite and the half letter I'm trying to see how I do with those two as the main sizes for my planning this year. But this was my planner that I used last year for my schedule. And the schedule, you know, things will just be a little bit bigger than the way they are in my CP Petite. So this was the holidays and observances sheet in the mini HP from last year. And that takes seven discs in the mini HP. In the CP Petite, which is what I'm using for my schedule, this year there are six discs and you can see the difference in sizes. I'm going to go back to CP Petite in a minute but there are two other sizes that I want to reference. One is this is the passport size which is only five discs and I find this extremely useful. It's really tiny. The one that I have just has dot grid in it and how I use it is just to keep what it is I'm trying to work on maybe today and tomorrow, maybe not the whole week, but the things that I want to be able to see. It's really tiny and I have it right next to my keyboard. And even with it closed, I can read through. It helps keep me organized, so I enjoy it. Sometimes I want to make just a quick note, so I have some blank pages in here. And the nice thing with disc bound is even though this is in the size that has five discs, I can hook it into any of my other disc planners because the spacing works perfectly. For a while, this size was very popular at Cloth and & Paper, and it's the same exact size as a CP Petite 4x6, and it has the same clear covers. This one only uses four discs, and this became popular because it was a place where you could put your sticker sheets. All the sticker sheets at the time were this size. And I collected some really nice ones, mostly transparent. And so I'm going to show you the detail on this because this is the March giveaway. So I just made a cover out of one of the old thank you pages. And then I have all of these. Some of the pages never used. Some I only used like you know, a couple or one. And I had certain colors that I really liked. These did come in both matte and transparent and almost all mine are the transparent because that's what I enjoyed. And you'll notice a lot of very neutral colors because even a few years ago, that's what I was doing. It was a lot of neutrals, so. And some of you may not have been around for some of these colors uh, coming out either. <laughs> I actually had another page so that you could see it through the back cover. So I'm giving this little book away as the March giveaway. The details of the giveaway will be at the end of the video. So this is my main planner, this tiny little CP Petite in four by six. I did just change up my pockets a little bit from what you've seen recently, not that much, but I did get a couple of new enamel pins, so I did play around with those. And Rose Shadow Collection, where I get a lot of my enamel pins and some of the vellum die cuts, offers freebies. And the freebie that is there right now happens to only be in the B6 size, which is five by seven, and it's a digital printout. You can get it for free. And I just trimmed it down because I really enjoyed it. It's a lot less expensive to have designer things <laughs> that are dashboards, die cuts, and enamel pins than buying an actual bag or whatever. And I do enjoy my designer stuff. So in this one, I have my schedule and that includes my monthly. And on my monthly, I don't actually put date things in there. I track statistics. And then for weekly, yeah, I'm using the horizontal. Uh, weekly and then my to-do lists and then my detailed to-do lists are in here which have things that might be longer term and I bring in and out of the week as necessary and a section for notes and info. 
So this is my main planner and it is in an heirloom. I absolutely love this planner. I also have my on the go travel planner. You saw my regular travel planner in the half letter where I keep a lot of detail. I don't need to take all that detail with me when I go, but I do need a certain amount of information. So I use the CP Petite for that. And I have several videos that show different things and like how I've used it for a recent trip, etc. if you're interested. What I keep in here is all the travel information like flights, car rentals, hotels, information about things that I want to do while I'm there, packing lists, etc. And those of you in the email group, in the last email, got a freebie of my packing list. And this one is the very first issue of a CP Petite cover. This one is the one that did not have the pen loop, but I added a pen loop to it. This is actually a dashboard that was a larger size that I cut down, and then I just have one of these pen loops attached to it. And the second issue of this was the one that had the pen loop, and that's the one I use for my travel planner. I also showed you recently that I put together a book. I made this out of an old cloth and paper black divider and just using a vinyl. This just houses all my what's inside cards. It's a great way to go back and look at what I have and when I got it. I really enjoy using it. So as I mentioned earlier, this sticker book, the book itself and all the contents, all the stickers is what's in the March giveaway. So to enter, all you have to do is like the video, leave a comment below. Um, wondering, are you a disc planner? And if so, what are your sizes that you use? Please subscribe to the channel so that you're notified when we have new videos. And in order to win the contest, you do need to be a member of the email group. There's always a link below to join that in all of my videos in the description box and also on Instagram. Just make sure you confirm when you get a reply back once you sign up. You can enter to win this March giveaway on any March video, including the one that came before this one. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time around.